Hey everybody, look at this. It is Warlord Games release weekend. I picked up the one and only Judge Dredd release that they had, the Lone Wolves box. I also picked up something else that I hadn't got for the Judge Dredd, and that's going to be in tomorrow's video. So hopefully you'll check that out. But Lone Wolves, miniatures and game cards for the Judge Dredd miniature game. Now, let's just get into the box. Get the saran wrap off, chuck it off to the side. Right, we have a picture of Stanley kicking a Judge Dredd in the face. Iconic scene in the comic. This looks like updated artwork though. I'm not sure when it's from. Maybe he had a flashback. But as you can see, there are going to be five models inside this teeny tiny box. I do love the reduced sized package in there. So we should get a Stanley, aka Death Fist, Rico Dredd. The Lone Superhero, Devlin Wag, and Blanche Tannum, the Executioner, iconic villain. I am actually a massive Rico fan. Stanley's a great character, but I think Devlin Wag is winning it for me. The model is so cool looking. I really hope, I really, really hope that uh, it's all in one piece. Sometimes. The resin getting shipped over to Canada, Canada doesn't always survive the trip, so I'm hoping beyond hope. Right, the box is empty. Customs annoyingly opened up everything to make sure I wasn't smuggling drugs into the country, I guess. I hate when they do that. But I guess they do what they gotta do. Leave the miniatures till last. I'll set them there. They do look in good condition there. And we'll take a look at the cards first. Thank you, Christina, for packaging it all. And we have Rico Dread, number one. Looks like uh, the print job slid a little because it seems a bit high up here. Actually, all the cards seem a little high. That's a shame. Um, anyway, Judge Rico. He's just got basic pistol. Move 6, shoot 5, fight 5, evade 4, defense 5, a cool of 5, 24 points. So he's on par with a street judge. What else has he got here? Is a Joe Dredd's corrupt clone brother, it allies none. Judge Dredd, Justice Department, uh, special rules, he gets brawler, cyber conversion. Every time Rico is injured or stunned. Roll a combat die on a 2000 AD. The mark is instantly discarded. That's pretty cool. And Gunfighter. I think we are going to have to play out the scenario of Dread versus Rico and see how it can play out. Then we have Devil and Warg. I, I don't know why I'm saying it like fucking Orc is going Warg. But <laughs> it's just how my brain is built, I guess. Only 17 points, so less than Rico. He is move three, um, move six, shoot three, fight four, evade two, defense four, cool of five, 17 points, laser pistol. What else has he got? He's an athlete, a bomb viant. Not entirely sure what that means. Sadomasochist and vampire. Allies, Judge Dredd, Pan African Judge Shakar. Um, um, side judge. Can can I hope that we're getting some Pan-African judges and side judge? That would be amazing. Warlord Games, are you hinting at something here? I really, really hope you are. Please, I want some Pan-African judges. I think that'd be so freaking cool. We've got the cut job. Who did this? It's so up the top, look. They did not center the cards before cutting. That's a real shame. Anyway, uh, Blanche, move five, shoot three, fight three, evade two, defense three, four, only six points. She's very cheap. She's very cheap, actually. Interesting. Uh, armed with a pistol. She doesn't really have much going for a gunfighter, that's it. They could have made her a bit more exciting. 
Oh, the cards. Warlord Games, look at that. It's not centered at all. Mm, that's sad. Stan Lee's a bit better, but Superhero one is the worst out of all of them. Look, not centered. Um, 12 points for the lone superhero. He's worth two of Blanche. 16 inch move. Shoot two, fight two, evade four, defense four, cool four. Laser pistol, culinary laser. Uh, what's he got? Saving the day. Saw like a rocket and victory together. I think he has like a jump pack. It's kind of where the rules are for that one. And then Stan Lee, the death fist. Now, remember, he beat Judge Dredd in a fight. There's more names here that I'm loving. Um, the Wu Wang and Lin Mi. Judge Dredd Shamira, who's the Hondo City judge. I've got the comic somewhere. And the other Hondo City judge. <coughs> Please say we're getting these characters. It'd be rude if they listed them and we're not actually going to get them. That would make me very sad. But he is a move six, a four, six, six. Wow. Four, five, 28 points. Brula, indestructible. Suffers no stat losses for injury or stuns. Wow, you have to completely take him out. He's got his death fists, which is a one-handed close combat weapon. It's obviously his kicks and his fists. Range one inch plus three modifier. So at close range, he's rolling six dice. <gasps> uh, nine dice. What am I talking about? That's brutal. Oh, he can choose to use knockback and or stun of each attack, but is not required to do so. Oh, that is a great one. Great one. And then we get the Big Meg card and an Armory card. Big Meg Rush, Sugar Rush. A fight breaks out after a chance find of an illegal sugar drop. Choose one of your opponent's models. Any other of your opponent's models within six inches have to pass a cool test. Any models that fail immediately perform an out-of-turn charge because they're desperate for that sugar. That's a cool card. I like it. And it's it's off again. Look, this side is wider than this side. They, they've had some real cutting issues. You can really see it on the back. That's sad. And same with this. The cutting issue again. Look. Wide, thin, very thin at the top. Uh, nightmare Gun. Power 3, short range 6, long range 12, plus 3 modify, plus 1 modify. Target uses cool rather than resist. Special, stun, cannot be removed by shake it off. Ooh, aimed fire or snapshot and remains in play as well. It's a pretty cool weapon. I'm, I'm a little sad about the cards. I'm... I'm a card collector. My other channel is Pokemon Cards, and having your cards centered is very important. Like, the lone superhero is terrible. And Sugar Rush and these Nightmare Gun, it's a little disappointing. See, you can see how badly they're off. It's a shame. It is a real shame. I know sometimes that happens, but you got to center your cards. Let's look at the figures and cheer up. I still love your Warlord games, but take the extra <laughs> five minutes to check everything. So we've got five bases. It's packaged by Vass. Thank you very much. The lovely grey foam that we all love and enjoy. And then we've got the plasticky resin. There's no loose plastic, so hopefully nothing's broken off. Start with the character that I'm most excited for. I'm going to have to zoom in. There we go. Devlin. A little bit of flash on his cigar. Otherwise, that looks like a nice sculpt. His gun looks very comical. It's... The gun is flexy, but his body... I don't know, he's got a bit of flex to him. I do like it. It's got some good detail to it. Very happy with that one. 
Rico, he looks like he is in pretty good condition. A little bit of flash on his hairline. Otherwise, he is looking great. These are jumping up the crew, uh, crew, jumping up the list of the to be painted pal. Actually, he looks pretty good. Then we have Blanche, got a bit of, oh no, that's a bend on her pistol. Gonna maybe the warmth of my fingers might be able to fix that. A uh, little bit of flash on top of her hood. Gonna have to heat up that pistol. Try and straighten it out. Then we have Superhero, a little bit of flash on his foot there that needs to be snipped off. Very nice sculpt though. It's going to be fun. A little bit of flash on his cape to clean up. Got to be careful with this one. Ankles are going to be a weak point. And then finishing off the video, we have Stanley. Quite a few flash points here. Tassel, head, elbow, foot. Lovely sculpt though. Very much liking that. Excellent. I'm going to give this kit a 7 out of 10. If it was just the figures, 10 out of 10. Lost three points because the cards aren't centered. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully we'll get these painted very soon. You'll see the videos for that. But until then, cheers for watching.